Good eye! <laughs> it is a good day. It's ready windy. All right, mate. Cattle. Come to join me, look. Now, here's the cattle. <laughs> oh, gonna help me unbox the tent box light two, which just arrived. And delivery, go on then, delivery note said between 3 thirsty and 5 thirsty. It arrived at 3 thirsty one. How cool is that? We want loving up, we want fluffing up, look. It was belly rub, tummy rub. <laughs> I got to work, mate. Sorry. Cats. So this is the tent box two. Tent box light two. And the advertisement said they fit any car, any vehicle. That is what they fit. Now that is a big old box. That really is. Now that it's got a fit on them roof bars. <sighs> it's daunting. So here we go. Get them straps off as opposed as to a strap on. <laughs> now they're, oh, that's good. I might actually keep some of that. That's handy stuff to have. That is. Oh, I've got to get in here. So this is literally unboxing the tent. <laughs> cat is mad. That cat is nuts. The cattle is. Look, cattle number one. Ah, oh, right. So, oh, <laughs> careful. I don't want to put a nice tear right down the tent. No. So, doing this with that wind, breaking in this box. Lovely bit of cardboard, by the way. We have a protective bit of cardboard. Okay, as you can see, that is very, very well padded in there. Right, next job. Ah. <laughs> well, it is, it's all the same job. I'm thinking and talking as I'm working, trying to figure out the best way to get the tent box out. <laughs> is that gonna pull? Oh man. Oh, hey. Yeah, come on. <laughs> what do you want, mate? The cattle, I don't matter, I think I've told you before, anything. Ah. <laughs> oh, anything new that arrives in the yard, the cat has to get on it, look. They do anything and everything. It's like new, it's like what? What? Ow. Man, <laughs> it's cold. It's, right. Give me a second, I need two hands. I do, and it is, that wind is bitterly cold. Okay, one minute later. Uh, that was tough pulling that out. So what I've done, I've cut the box, just like that. That seemed a much better option. So I can get that off. Push the tent back on. Whee! As you can see, it's a bit lighter. It's a bit smaller. Get the plastic off on this side. It looks really good. <laughs> it should be really good. And I don't know if that is a zipper or I don't know. It's revealing the tent inside, which is all right because we just want to get one and whoa! And that's it. And flip y'all. There you go. Right, that's it. That's all the packaging. Right, now, I've probably got to open it up because I reckon the fitting kit has got to be inside. Ah, it comes with a fitting kit. Obviously these bars go on the roof, but I, I assume, where's just hoink go up? Have a look. Yeah, that'll be on the top. It's all zipped up. We'll open the zip. Um. Okay. <laughs> ha. Okay. Velcro off. 
All right. Sorry if it's all a bit twisty, chopsy, turvy, but this is, like I say, unboxing the tent from scratch. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's hit the car. That's the bit in on there. Let's have a look. Man, wicked looking tent. Mattress. Man, that looks like a good mattress. And here is a fitting kit. I hope. <laughs> what is in here? Kit, kit, rope. Oh man. Let's get all this out. Oh, so look at that tent, man. That looks awesome. And that is really rugged. That really is. That is a wicked looking bit of kit. The ladder. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> that's probably why the tent was weighing so much. That heavy, heavy ladder. That is, I'm not joking, that's a heavy ladder. What else we got here? Okay, a bag and some bars. Oh, okay, I guess that's the bag. It will go in. Hope you're enjoying this. As much as I have, it's horrible. So windy. There's nothing else in there. No. Right. So you can flip back to where you were. Just like that. Easy. Right, one ladder, tent box, strap, <laughs> ah, poles, ah, these will be to put your windows open, uh, if you know what I mean. I'll show you when I set the tent up, which may not be. <laughs> today that's just too windy to set this up we also have some climbing ropes in there which is cool really good g, g clamps on there now this must be in the green bag what is what are they two up to oh, wait <laughs> that's just something fun. That, that's strange the cats are yay we have a fitting kit right here Lots of bolts and clamps. So I'll suss out how this all fits together before. Oh man, they give me a socket spanner as well. So I'll see how it all fits together before I start fitting it together. Right, that, that, that. Now what we got, a tent box welcome kit. Now I wasn't sure if this came with the two lights or not. So that's why I bought one because I weren't sure if it actually came. Some of them do come with the two lights, um, and some of them don't. Depends on how much you pay. Now this was, uh, what have we got in here? Oh, we got, oh, what we got? We have, Jesus, they're so small. Oh no, we haven't, we've got <laughs> a tent box, bamboo, biodegradable tooth, toothbrush. Oh, ain't that brilliant? I've got two of them. And that is... Oh, man, they're like a bag of fairy lights. Okay, it does come with some kind of lighting. Oh, man, welcome to the community. So you get one of them. You get a nice bit of roach material with that as well. Oh, hang on, there's more. Oh. <laughs> Earplugs, and they wicked? Because I am down to one earplug. That's a bonus. Did not know they would be in this little lucky bag. Oh man, and I can, no that's wicked. I can now make out I'm official. Put something on there. Okay, so that is pretty cool. That is the tent box and all of its items that it come with. And I paid £1,285 for the tent box too. And that came with free post. But it's now got to rain. <laughs> Uh, a bought, a bought, a bought. Let's get everything inside ASAP. It's still blusty and, and windy, but I have 
I have my new home right here. And these brackets, we've got eight of them, and they're kind of self-explanatory. That little locking nut. So you get the bolt, you get that, and then that just sits in there and slide along in there. So I've put two there, and I've put two there on the inside. And then I shall now place this on the roof. Now what I want to do, I want to place it uh, in the right manner. So when it opens, it opens up over the driver's side. There, I want it to open up over here. I do. And so if I'm on the side of the road, then the side of the car will be on the side of the road. And, and this side, will be, well here, into whatever ground or wherever I've parked. Hopefully I won't be right on the edge of the road <laughs> in case I get hit by a big truck, which we want to avoid. So, I've, all, I've just thought about which way to put that on. And so it is, all I've got to do now is lift that. I will need two hands, Woody's not here. I now need to lift that on there and then clamp it up, which I don't think will take too long at all. Uh, so I'll just get that ready. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting it just for that wind to drop and then I'll do it. I'll get that because when I get that on the top, I've got to hurry up and clamp that on and then get the case for it, the waterproof case to put over it before it gets soaked. So uh, we, that's what I will do. So uh, I will tell you how long it takes me to get that now out of the house and on the roof. I reckon in about a minute, I'll have that on there and I'll be clamping it up. So we'll actually see at the end of this vlog actually how long it has taken to erect that mighty <laughs> tent box light chew. <sighs> Race against time. <coughs> Excuse me. I have got the tent box light two on the roof. Now I'm going to have to hurry. It is on and these did fall out but managed to lift it, just lift it up one hand. That's not too bad, nice and light. Now, I have eyed it in to what I think uh, is kind of central to how I want it. That's, that's it, so all I've got to do now, slide these, that one, up there. Let's go for a little wonder. <laughs> that one on there there you go that one on there I've got a little zip okay one more get that where are we going in there mate there we go up there now you will have to take the nuts off Careful, they're not to lose them. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Right, so we're doing this in real time. Like I said to you now, how long it actually takes. Says 30 minutes setup time. Initial, sorry, 30 minutes initial install. Five minutes to set the tent up. Put them on there flat. That's it. Right, brackets. There we go. Right, ah, uh, I need another hand. <laughs> ah, where's that third hand? Third hand. I'll count to see how long it takes me just to get them on. I will, I'll count. One. 41, one minute, 41. And ah, oh, mate, that's got a bit of a cross thread on it, that one. Hopefully, the ratchet will get it. Oh mate, annoying. <laughs> he says, oh this is annoying. Oh mate, I'm having problems with the ratchet. Because that one is locked on. It's like it's, the thread's gone. Or it's a tight thread. It's tight. One of the other ones I just put on was a tight thread. So it looks like all the way, I'm going to have to screw that one with a screwdriver. Oh man, they all like it. That's because they're locking nuts. <laughs> they'll only go so far with your fingers on it. 
Oh, oh man, I thought I was going to get this done in no time at all. I screwed them a little bit, but the others, they're all locking nuts. So, no, I ain't going to have to do this with bloody two hands again. This ain't good. <laughs> right, I'll get the counter on the go again before it starts to really rain. Six minutes and 32 seconds to get them that far. It was taking too long. It was. So I've got my little socket set up, but it's too short, look. So it won't go on there any more than that. So that took six minutes, 32 seconds to get them that far with a little socket set. So now I have reverted back to the little wrench. And you do need both fans to get a bit of power because they are locking nuts. So how much longer is it going to take me? <laughs> See, with one hand, that's just like this hard work. So I've got to keep it in place. It's a lot easier with a socket, but that I'm going to need two hands just to speed this up a bit. So right, here we go. Let's start the clock for the last time. And hang on, the sun is trying to come through. If it do come through, um, then I'll continue. I'll probably, I might even sleep in there. I'll see what it's like, give a full judgment. I'll see how the weather go. Ah, yes, look, blue skies are coming. The sun has got to come out any second. So I better hurry up. Right, let's start that timer. So I hope you, you guys are keeping time of how long this is taking. Uh, it ain't going to take too much longer because they're, they're more than halfway there. No, they're not. They're about halfway there. <sighs> we'll see. Timer again. One, D1. Nine minutes, 51 seconds. I guess we'll call that 10 minutes then. Right, oh, I did these straps up, didn't I? Okay, how easy are they to release? So that's the tent bolted on. I'm just gonna release some straps. Oh, everything is so difficult with one hand. I'm gonna persevere, I am. Go on, son. Go on, don't give up, get that out. Go on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh man, how long has this taken? <laughs> how long? So it did say initially, this initial setup, 30 minutes. Go along with that. It's probably right. End caps. <sighs> yep, that's one. Little end caps going in. It's always nice when you put an end cap on something, isn't it? It is. That means an end in there. That means that is. Well, and they fit in there really snug. Right, I'll just come round and do the other strap. Admire the end caps. <laughs> oh man, that should be a bit quicker. So, I hope you guys are counting. I hope you counted on the last one. It's a good game. Which one is quicker, the first one or the second one? I don't think there's going to be a lot in it. No, I don't. I've got to do them back up yet. Right, that's them one done. Back end caps, I'll put them on. So it's, it's all part and parcel of how long it takes to initially get that on the roof. <sighs> Which is us, just about. That is it, done. Now, the next bit is, what we've done with it, is the ladder. Now, oh, that's heavy, I ain't joking. That's a lightweight aluminium ladder that I can honestly say is heavy. It is. <laughs> can we get in the bag? Get out. A lightweight heavy ladder. Like that. Upside down. Right. I might need some of them attachments. Might not. Done with them. What have I done with them? They're not in there. Where'd I put them? What have I done with them? They must be in there. Right, hang on. Let's put this. It must be a rope to pull it. No, I need to get on. There must be a better way. There must be, I reckon there's ropes that'll go on there. Guess a minute, I'll go and find my kit. That's what them ropes are for, isn't it? I'll have to thread them on there. I didn't see any instructions. I didn't. That's a good relative point. So I could be here a while looking 
for my stuff. Found my kit. I've got this strap, which I don't know. And I've got that, that. again, I don't know. But I've got them. But I have got this orange guide rope things, which looked like they would fit there. So if I throw that there, right? <laughs> and number two, there, I throw that there. And get hold of both of them. Ah, I know, presto. Foot on the door, oh, come on. Oh man, maybe you need <laughs> both hands. Oh, come on, I thought that would just come with one hand. <laughs> no, unless I'm missing something. Hang on, just climb in the car a bit, get a bit more leverage <laughs> from up here so we can get the ball rolling. You'd have thought that'd made this a lot easier. But then, ah oh man, to try and get that up. Whoa! That takes a bit of effort to do that. It does. Wow. That is that. Now, a ladder. Come here. It's already extending itself. That's getting excited, is the ladder. Can I do this? Single handed dude, this looks quite easy if it's a matter of pulling that. Can you see? I'm using my shoulder to cut that in. Yeah, I've done that one. That's good. That's what I mean. That's simple to do that. You do that. Hang on. Pull it back. Up you go. There you go. That's the ladder. That's it, that's locked into place. That's a, oh. <laughs> wow, it's a bit of a wheelie, mate, isn't it? Ah, still, it's on there. Ah, ah. Okay. Ah, that's what those little clips have a little bits for. Oh, man, we'll pull that out. Now, I want to go up, so how? I've got to get that ladder down. That's going up, mate. Sussing out. The new ladder. <laughs> I want it to go down. Oh, come on. That's only going to go up. How'd you get it to go down? Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. That looks about right. If that will click. No. It must click. Why aren't it clicking? In a place. Okay, we'll come up another one. No, that's what that wants to do. I like that. I'm not sure if that's right. <laughs> Ah, but you know what? Ah, hang on. I know how to put it right. Ah, pull the ladder out. Pull the ladder out, mate. That'll put it right, won't it? There we go, the ladder at a funny angle. It's on. It's on. Sort of. Pull it out a bit more. Gotta put my bedding in there, yeah? That's what I want to see. If. And I think this ladder is designed to actually um, be straight, flat. Oh, it's dark. It's too dark, isn't it? You ain't going to see anything. The ladder feels like a good support. So that's the rain coat on there. That will just come off that little clip. And push that through there. There you go. You should just be able to lift that up. Ah, oh, so I don't want to take it right off. Oh, there's another clip there. Maybe I could take it right off. 
We're looking at the tent. Wicked framework. It's like a bivy. Oh, mate. It's got a wedge on the bottom door. It's leaded. There's a pole in the bottom there. That's good news. I'm enjoying this as much as I am. I do enjoy what I do. Fly screen. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Look at that. Man. <laughs> and I've got myself, like I say, most of you, uh, if you've seen what I've been shopping for, oh, which I will show you. Look at that. I just want to see if that, that'll probably been designed to clip up, isn't it? But like I say, I need two hands. But that, that's comfy, man. That looks, oh man, it smells all new. That looks pretty good in there. Got enough for me. Let's see if I can put my sheet in there. In there. Oh man, I know, it's, it's firm. That's it. All right, give me a second. I'll get, see if I can get comfy. I'm gonna, actually, before I go anywhere, this lot should all just roll up, shouldn't it, you know? into something, not me just putting it on the hood like that, that should all tie back I think there are tie backs, there's all sorts they all zip up, that's good the windows zip up oh, what I'm trying to do is get enough light in here so I can now uh, get in oh, it's going to be too dark how does it feel man it's dark but you know what you know what feels good it feels solid it really do I'm sitting on here sitting on the edge here right <laughs> I feel solid man I feel safe I think it might just work I'm happy I am sitting up here it's all right you know it's like when you're sitting up high up isn't it on a perch all you guys who drive them Range Rovers you know what I'm talking about <laughs> Yeah, down at everybody. Look, I look down at the truck, man. It's all right up here. It is. Something going to give? No, I feel... <laughs> this journey's going to begin. So, that's that. That's that. I'm happy with that. There's still... The weather's still there. Do I? It's messing about with this. Which I think... Give me a second. I'm going to mess about with this and then I'll see if I can put the bedding inside and... Uh, close it up with all the bedding in. That will be a really, a really, uh, that will be a big save because the bedding takes up a lot of room in the car. And believe it or not, I don't think I've got that much room in the car. No. <laughs> no, not since I've been looking at all the stuff I'm going to be taking with me. I'm really happy because you know what? I know where I'm going to be sitting on here. Like I say, it's all right sitting here. It ain't too bad. But in a few more days, I'm going to be sitting up here looking at some views that are going to be just awesome. I know they are, especially when I get to that coast of France. They're just mad, pulling up in, um, and, it, and, and in the, the Italian mountains when I get there, them places. I've driven through there before, and I think there are places where I could just pull up, oh, like this, in a big old lay by, and perch myself up here. I wonder if I could do me cooking in that up here. Oh man, this is a proper, I'll tell you what I've got, right? Now, like I said, that tent, Cost 1,285 quid. That's a steal. The car was 400 quid. All right, the wheels were just under 260 quid. Service and everything, 132 pounds. Insurance was 400 pounds. And AA was 49 pounds. To take that car abroad, insurance was uh, free. It was free. And I paid another 49 pounds to upgrade to international cover. I have. Bloody wind's picked up again now. I was then getting excited about getting the bedding in. I think I'm going to have to get that packed up. I will. I'm now going to put that down and put the top on it. That's what I'm going to do. So what I was then running on about was how much my one bedroom flat has just cost. That is a mobile home for under two grand, roughly, isn't it? There you go. Do you know what I mean? That's what, that's the point I was then trying to make. It doesn't look too bad on there. It's all right. I need a green car now, don't I? Need to paint the car green. But wicked. So there you go. A motorhome for under two grand. Just hope I can get all my gear in there. And that. That's proper. I love how the ladder just clipped on there really easily. I like that. And the wind just blowing that away like that. Right, I'm going to pack that up. 
and then quick, I'm going to pack that down now. I need both hands, and then there is uh, there's a there's a thing to go over the top, which I think that that's for. I'll find out when I get that on. Cover. That took a couple of minutes just to put on, and as I have, I've just realised and understood why the bottom of the tent has got this zipper on it because look the cover has got a zipper on it too which can only mean one thing yeah that's gonna zip on the retreat isn't it ah he says in theory it should so let's see if it will zip up oh, man. there's the thing there Hang on there, hang on, just, just be with me right there. Can you see? Ah, oh. yeah, maybe could have done till that fell over. Fell over, didn't it? Oh, come on, be nice, be kind to me. There you go. There you go, hands free. Now, will that go on there? Even with two hands, this, I will admit, it's a bit fiddly. It is. Even doing them up, be prepared to rasp your knuckles quite a lot, depending how quick you want to do it. Come on, get that in there. Come on, is it going in? It's got to go right in before I zip off. Is it in? Come on. That's, no, it isn't. That's a bit stiff, but you know, it's new. It's brand new. It's rugged. So it's got to take the test of time, isn't it? So it needs to all be rugged. I don't know poxy stuff. <clears throat> Is she in? I don't know what I mean. You've got to get her right in, well in there. I don't know. That's all the way in. The right in. Come on. And then. Oh. Told us it's finicky. We're in. Oh, go on. No. She's not in. Bugger. Ah. Why aren't you going in, darling? It's a pain when you just can't get it in. That should go right up to there. Right up to the hilt. Now. Ah. I hope you're enjoying this. Can't believe I'm actually filming this. I started, so I'll finish. Now that is getting stuck and not going all the way in. Ah, there you go. Just needed a finger just to guide that in. Hey, that's all it needed. Just a little finger, just guide that in. Ah, okay. I was it better long, one handedly. There you go, it's the first time, isn't it? I bet a lot of you yeah. had problems the first time you try to get it in. Bet you did. Ah, I bet you. But after using it more and more, ah, I get stuck again. Going around this bend. Just push it with a finger again. It's a bit tight around there. There we go. There we go. This bend proved to be tight. I say, it's the first time going in. Things are always a bit tight. When that's going in for the first time. I don't know why the bends are a bit naughty. Oh, hang on. That might need a little pull up there. That looks like... Uh, I might just need two hands to finish this off. Right, so that's that anyway. Whew, I had enough of that. I have <laughs> got to work out as if that strap will probably clip under somewhere. But it's on there. It's on there. It's solid. I feel like I'll be out of sleep in there without the car caving in. I do, which is a big bonus. So put that flat down. Pull that round, make that a bit more versatile getting that up there. Ah, I just need to pull that. Okay, that's it. There a bit, we'll get that done. Right. Oh, no beverage. No. Cappuccinos, I had enough of them for a while. Too, too late today, day, only in the morning. So, what I would now, what I was going to think of, right, 
I was going to get that then set up and I was going, right, let's go off and get a really wicked view so I can have for the evening and sleep in it. Now that was what I was going to do, but when I was going to drive off, all I was going to do was just get there, reverse, and then drive up here, and I was going to park the, the, the car here, and uh, I was just going to have that view right there. That is how I was going to finish this. But things change, don't they, all the time? Best laid plans, isn't it? Right, let's clear things up, and have a happy ending all on my own. <laughs> oh, after all, all that tight work and that getting it in, yeah, proper happy ending. So until next time, appreciate you staying right until the very end. And until next time, au revoir.